Hillel Slovak was born in Haifa, Israel, to Jewish parents who were survivors of the Holocaust. His mother was originally from Poland while his father grew up in Yugoslavia. They settled in the Queens borough of New York City, then in 1967 relocated to Southern California. As a child Slovak developed an interest in art, and often spent time painting with his mother Esther. He attended Laurel Elementary School in West Hollywood and Bancroft Junior High School in Hollywood, where he met future bandmates Jack Irons and Michael Flea Balzeri. Slovak received his first guitar at age 13 as a bar mitzvah present, and regularly played the instrument into the late hours of the night. During this time he was highly influenced by hard rock music such as Jimi Hendrix, Led Zeppelin and Kiss. As a freshman at Fairfax High School, Slovak formed a band with Irons on drums and two other high school friends, Alan Johannes and Todd Strassman. They called their band Chain Reaction, then changed the name to Anthem after their first gig. After one of the group's shows Slovak met audience member Anthony Kiedis and invited him to his house for a snack. The original bassist for Anthem, which renamed to Anthem, was deemed unsatisfactory. So Slovak began teaching Flea to play bass. Following several months of commitment to the instrument, Flea developed proficiency and a strong musical chemistry with Slovak. When Strassman saw Flea playing anthem songs on his equipment, he quit the band with Flea quickly replacing him. Shortly afterwards Anthem entered a local Battle of the Bands contest and won second place. Anthem started to play at local nightclubs, despite the fact that the members were all underage. After graduating from high school the band changed their name to What Is This? Around the same time Flea left the band to accept an offer to play bass in the prominent LA punk band Fear. Slovak, Kiedis and Flea began to create their own music after finding inspiration in a punk-funk fusion band called Defunct. The three formed a band with former Anthem drummer Jack Irons called Tony Flo, and the miraculously majestic Masters of Mayhem. The band had only one song entitled Out in LA, and was formed for the purpose of playing the song once. The song was based on a guitar riff that Slovak wrote while jamming with Irons, and was not meant to become a real song until Kiedis decided to rap over the music. Following the group's first show at the Rhythm Lounge, the owner of the bar asked them to return but with two songs instead of one. After several more shows and the addition of several songs to their repertoire, the band's name was changed to Red Hot Chili Peppers. After the band started to gain popularity amongst the LA club scene, Kiedis began writing more lyrics. The lyrics would eventually become songs such as Green Heaven and True Men Don't Kill Coyotes, and the band's concert repertoire quickly grew to nine songs as a result of months of playing local nightclubs and bars. Over the course of the next six months the Red Hot Chili Peppers played many shows in LA clubs and became something of an underground hit. Slovak, Kiedis and Flea moved into a small house in a high crime area in Hollywood, where they collaborated musically and continued their drug addictions. The threesome traveled to New York City to perform more shows and to spread chili pepperdom. Shortly after the trip Slovak moved out of the group's shared house to live with his girlfriend. Slovak and Kiedis became addicted to heroin early on in their careers, and Slovak often attempted to conceal his addiction from his friends and family. At first the band were more concerned about Kiedis' addiction, which had become more apparent to the other members due to his willingness to openly discuss his issues. Kiedis was more upfront about his problems, while Slovak according to Kiedis was much more subtle and much more cunning in his disguise. During the tour in support of Freaky Styly, Slovak's health began to deteriorate. Slovak and Flea would wrestle regularly on tour, but Slovak became too weak to participate. A roadie of the band who was concerned for Slovak's health contacted his brother James, who had been unaware that Slovak had ever used heroin. Deciding to give sobriety a chance, both Kiedis and Slovak stopped using drugs prior to their European tour in support of the Uplift Mofo party plan, and decided to help each other steer clear of heroin. An entry from Slovak's diary on January 1988 discusses his attempts to begin a new drug-free phase of life. During the tour both experienced intense heroin withdrawal with Slovak much more unstable than Kiedis. His withdrawal symptoms took a toll on his ability to play his instrument. At one point Slovak had a mental breakdown and was unable to play a show, leaving the rest of the band to play an entire set with no guitar. He recovered a few days later but was briefly kicked out of the band and replaced by Dwayne McKnight for a few shows. After a few days with McKnight, the band decided to give Slovak another chance, and he rejoined for the European leg of the tour. Kiedis attempted to take Slovak to drug addiction counseling, 
but Slovak had difficulty admitting that his addiction was serious enough to require medical help. Upon returning home, Slovak isolated himself from the rest of his bandmates, and struggled to resist drug abuse without the support of his friends and Kitas in particular. He stopped painting and writing in his diary during this time, and little is known about his life during the weeks following the tour. Aside from a phone call to his brother on June 24, in which Slovak told him that he was having difficulty staying clean despite his desire to stop taking heroin. A few weeks after the band returned from the tour, the members attempted to contact Slovak, but were unable to do so for several days. Slovak died in his Hollywood apartment on June 1988, although his body was not discovered until two days later. On June 1988, Slovak's body was found slumped over the painting he had been working on at the time of his death. He was found holding a cigarette which had burnt a hole in the canvas of the painting. After completion of the autopsy, authorities confirmed that the official cause of death was due to an accidental heroin overdose. He is interred at Mount Sinai Memorial Park Cemetery in Hollywood Hills, California. Following his death, Kitas fled town and did not attend the funeral, considering the situation to be surreal. Although he found the death to be a shock, he was not initially scared straight, and continued to use heroin. However, a few weeks later, his friend convinced him both to check into rehab and visit Slovak's grave, which inspired him to get clean. Irons was unable to cope with his death, and subsequently left the band, saying that he did not want to be part of something that resulted in the death of his friends. Irons has suffered from severe depression since his death. This did not end Irons' musical career, however as he would work with Johannes on several projects, including the band Eleven, and would join Pearl Jam for a period in the 1990s, after initially declining to join the band upon its founding, Kiedis and Flea decided to continue making music, hoping to continue what he helped build. They hired Dwayne McKnight and D.H. Peligro as replacements, who were later replaced by Chad Smith and John Frusciate.